Hey guys, Eddie here once again, and this is going to be another weapon system review, in quotes. So, uh, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be of the Classic Army SLR 105. So, if you can't tell, this is a AK um, platform, the most r uh, common real-world weapon, um, but probably the second most common airsoft weapon, because everybody likes HK 416s and M4s and M16s and all that jazz, and AK is coming close second. Um, so basically, on the real SLR 105, it's a an American produced uh, AK that's milled instead of stamped steel, so it's a little bit heavier, higher quality, uh, tighter tolerances, so it is a little bit less uh, reliable overall, but you get better accuracy and all that. Um, it's produced by Arsenal in I think Las Vegas. Don't hold me to that. Uh, it's probably yeah, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Um, the real one chambered in. 5.45, I think, for the Arsenal. It might be 5.56. I, I actually think they make a, a model on both, but don't hold me to that either. So the stock uh, is plastic, grip is plastic, uh, handguard is plastic, and the rest of the rifle is really solid metal. Um, just like the rear one, it's really solidly built. The barrel, especially, is very, very high quality. The brake is high quality. I have this one painted because I actually wasn't, I was a little bit finicky on keeping this. Um, but this is definitely a good uh, beater gun. Um, I would not hesitate to buy this again. It's great. It, it offers some advantages over the traditional AK-47, such as having polymer, plastic furniture as opposed to wood, so it's lighter. Maybe not as completely durable, but it's all good. Hitting on the point of durability is actually the mags. The mags are plastic and they're pretty much all good. You know, you don't need your mags to be super, super uh, durable and airsoft. It's not like we're going to be using them in uh, real world conditions, but it's nice to have durability. But there's something that I hate, and that's um, through normal use in your house, uh, finger fucking your gun. Uh, excuse my language. The. I don't know what you call it, the lip that actually lets the mag ride in and hold in simply just broke off just simply by using the weapon so just by using the weapon instead of having a piece that could have easily been improved the mags reliability tenfold it uh they made out of plastic and i if i did a legitimate reload that thing could pop right off and my mag could come right out that was with very little force um so that that's a real letdown so that's going to take off some points in this thing but overall, it's really good. Accuracy is really good. Rate of fire is really good. Range is pretty decent for what it's worth. I mean, it's an AK. Let's be real. They're not all that good. And especially classic armies actually have a bad rap. These uh, are great. Uh, to be honest, I'm not hesitating to buy it again. I think I've already said that. I'm fucking crazy. But they're really nice. And quality is great. You really can't go wrong with this. If you're hesitant about buying Classic Army because of what you heard, just take the plunge and do it like I did, and you won't regret it. This, th this thing is just... It's great. It's honestly great. So, I'd give this 9 out of 10 divides. Uh, I would divide with. I would get... Drink copious amounts of alcohol.